So one of the things that we can work on this winter is our stroke length. It's kind of, because we want to develop a stroke where it's what we call balanced. It's roughly equal back, equal through. You, you know those old metronomes that are in those big wooden boxes that swings like this? The bottom part of that metronome is where the most speed is because it, as it begins to come up, either way, it begins to lose speed. So does your putting stroke. So if we build a stroke where it's equal back and through where it's got acceleration through to impact, begins to decelerate going up, we're putting the maximum amount of energy delivery. So that's a great concept. It's more difficult to enact if you can't see it. I'm a big visual guy and a lot of my students are too. So here's what we've created. We call it a stroke meter. And the idea is if I address a ball in the center of the stroke meter and I make a stroke that's color to color, red to red, let's say, I know that that stroke is balanced, red to red or gray to gray. And we want to develop that stroke where it's in good rhythm and I make that stroke. So the drill for this week is literally to create something that allows you to, to measure that stroke equal back and through. But then we can add some uh, level of uh, frustration to it. Because what I typically do then is I'll put, a, I'll put a ball in play at the back of the stroke and at the front of the stroke and I will hit putts where I cannot bring the putter back and hit that ball. If I do, I have to go chase it. And there's nothing more frustrating than being in the middle of your practice routine and the next thing you know you got to go chase that ball. So put that into the middle of your routine where you've got that and make some strokes. That's our drill. 25 of those where we're not hitting, we're not hitting either one back or through. Then the game really begins. Because as we begin to put a ball into play, our old habits can surface if we're not careful. But because you're mindful and you're practicing and you're trying to get better, we can now step in there, line up the putts on your putting mat, you're ready to make some putts, put the stroke meter in play, put the balls on either end, and now you're ready to make a stroke and try to make a putt and keep that stroke absolutely in balance. You're going to make some mistakes with this because it's really normal but you're gonna get better a lot faster, specifically if you're trying to make putts working with this drill. Put some time in, balance the stroke, your distance control will be much better, you're gonna be much more reliable from every distance and hit it a lot more solid. Spring's gonna be awesome.